So my forge is currently kaput. Um, I'm waiting on a fitting which won't be here till Monday. So I thought I'd do a quick video on how to engrave a blade with a laser where you don't need a you know 24 megawatt laser. You can do it with just a simple hundred dollar one you get off eBay. I've got this competition chopper which has seen better days but it's also the only clean finish that I have in the house. Um, it's actually cable Damascus but that doesn't matter for this. So we're just going to put my logo right here in the middle um, using basic stuff you can all get on Amazon and not have to pay thousands of dollars. Okay, forgive the angle. I've literally got my phone taped to a lamp. So first step, we've already I've already just cleaned this off with some acetone. Um, anything will work. It really doesn't even really matter. Um, but we're going to go ahead and paint it with. Now this is just black nail polish. This happens to be salty. Hint. It doesn't matter. Um, we just want to get something, and we want to cover the entire area and a little bit around where we're going to want to engrave. And you want to make sure you have a good solid coat on it. Uh, you can't use too much. The laser will burn through it one way or another. Just make sure you have plenty of room to leave your whatever you're etching on there to completely fill that or cover that. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now we wait for that to dry. All right, as you can see, got a nice it's dry to the touch. Um, now basically what we're going to do is we're going to engrave the logo that we want into this uh, nail polish. And basically what we're doing is making a stencil at that point. So I have this, this is just the software that came with the laser engraver. Um, this is just a little, it goes $180 laser engraver you can get on Amazon. I'll post a link to it. So I'm going to make sure this is propped up right. And I'm sure the software is going to be different for whatever, but can we actually see that? I don't want to get the laser into the camera, but um, there is a, in this particular one, there's a frame positioning button, which will show where, the, where it's going to etch. And we're offset there, so we're just going to find a good spot make sure it's all within the nail polish and right, then you have to set the depth um, you want to set it pretty deep because we want to burn completely through the nail polish right, and then we start it and this takes a while okay that's done it smells great in here if you look here, you can see we've burned away all of the nail polish in the shape of it. So essentially what we really did is created a, a stencil. So I'm going to take some electrical tape now and just make sure the edges are covered so we don't accidentally etch parts of the blade we don't want to etch. Really just creating a frame. Make sure it's down pretty solid on the edges towards the logo because that's where so we're going to be using salt water to help with the current. It will run into places. And I probably should have put a little bit of a thicker coat of nail polish. I can see, if you look really closely, I can see some of the metal there, but it should be fine anyway. So now we've got salt water. It's, uh, what, a half a cup of water and maybe a tablespoon of salt. It really doesn't matter. All it's doing, the salt just increases the conductivity. And then this is a homemade etcher made out of a 12 volt power supply from I think a Netgear switch or something. Um, all it really does is pass current through. Uh, you can do it DC or AC. AC in this case is what we're going to use. DC, if we use it, it will heat up, it will melt the nail polish and it will not work. So we're gonna go with AC here. I'm gonna flip it to AC. By the way, you can buy these. Um, the, I have no idea how much they're, literally this is $5 worth of parts. They're very easy to make. You can find instructions online. So I'm going to connect one end to the blade and really just any part of the metal if you can get it to stay, which I probably can't. Sorry. I knew that was going to happen. I'm just going to 
to hold it in place. And switch this guy on. Now we're going to take our pad. In this case, it's just a piece of felt. I mean, really, anything that will conduct electricity, cloth is fine. Get my towel here. Then we'll be really quiet, and hopefully, you'll be able to actually hear it etching because it does kind of make a crackling noise. I'm just keeping it moving here just to make sure current flows through all the parts of our stencil. This is just like electro etching anything. Uh, by the way, this I use this for knives. You can use this for any metal. I've done this on brass, um, steel. You'll get different results and you're going to have to kind of, you know, take the etching time. But uh, I'll show some brass later. So make sure now we're since we're doing DC, we're technically marking and not etching. I'm sorry, AC. We're technically marking not. Now DC will actually etch, and you can actually get depth into the metal. We don't want that in this case. Obviously, the longer you do it, the darker it will etch. It is kind of sticking, but that's to be expected. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but all right. tape off. You can see I'm going to do the other side, but I haven't done it yet. And now, just get some acetone. Straight up nail polish remover. You can get it at any grocery store. You can see I should have etched a little bit more in that corner, but there we go. We've now got our logo etched on this blade. Ambush response.